Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Eva Venice of painfreeforlifepilates.com located in San Diego, California. I specialize in working with people who suffer from chronic pain or some kind of chronic condition. And here on YouTube, I share weekly content on how to eliminate chronic pain without the use of drugs and surgeries and how to increase your strength flexibility and mobility. In today's video, I would like to give you some exercise ideas of how to train for ski season. Um, ski season is approaching, it's going to be here in a couple of months and you can incorporate these exercises in your existing routine. They will get you really strong and um, you'll be really uh, stable and safe on the ski slopes if you do these. Um, first of all, we are doing a bridge um, since you're training for a high demand sport, you want to be sure that you include some kind of weight. So here I'm going to use a double folded pair band, place it on your pelvis and um, push your pelvis into the band that will give you a little uh, resistance depending on how strong your band is. If you would like to go with a heavier weight, then in your gym just grab a sandbag or a dumbbell placed on your pelvis and then uh, you can uh, add some extra weight to the exercise that will really strengthen your hips and your quadriceps, your inner thigh muscles. Be sure to do at least 10 repetitions of this, um, but of course you can do more than that as well. Okay, so that was the bridge. Um, let's do a kneeling plank, side plank. So you're going to plant your forearm down. You pop yourself up on that bottom knee, extend your top leg out and then go back down and just try and be nice and fluid and make it look effortless. This will strengthen your shoulder girdle, which you need in skiing. It will strengthen your core and your hip. For a little added hip strengthening exercise, you can do a leg circle, go back down, rise up in your side plank, extend that leg out, circle it around, go back down, let's do it one last time, elongate the leg, and a nice and big circle. Let's do it on the second side as well. Side plank is an excellent exercise to strengthen your lower back, by the way. And just extend that leg out, we'll do a couple without the circle. And then we'll go into that leg circle. You're going to need those hip muscles to be strong and functional. As you're having fun on the slopes, let's do it one last time. Okay. Next one, let's do a kneel to squat. So you're just gonna start out on your knees, put your left foot ahead of you and your right foot and just sink down in a nice low squat then get back down on your knees. Mix it up and now step forward with the opposite foot. Establish your squat get back down on your knees. Single leg balance is really important in skiing, so this will be a really great exercise for you and will make you so much more stable and strong on your skis. And this was the knee to squat. Then let's do a, a squat to lunge. So first just hop up in a nice deep squat. We are going to take a step back with the right foot. And so just elongate that leg. If you lose your balance like I did, no problem, just recover. And then step back. And now the opposite foot goes back. And just be sure that your toes are pointing straight forward. Try and set up a tripod on your foot. So you're equally weighing all parts of the stabilizing foot. And let's do just a last one. Mm, great. Okay. Next is going to be a plank to squat or a plank to jump. 
So first just establish your plank position and then hop forward with your feet nice and wide, sink down into a low squat. Uh, skiing requires you to be a strong squatter, so you definitely want to work on this one. Mm, so just hop forward, feet are nice and wide, sink your heels as low as you can, plant your hands down and jump back. Let's do one more of these. Make sure your plank is strong, guys. You don't want your pelvis to sag. You don't want your lower back to cave in. So just hop forward and go down into a nice and low squat. As I said, you can incorporate these exercises in your existing gym routine. They will get you really strong because you need that core strength for skiing. You need the strength of the hips, the power of the legs, and also strengthen the shoulders. So these exercises cover all of those. If you want more exercise ideas or you want a complete protocol, visit my website and check out the, the on-demand home programs under my shop tab. Choose the core program or choose a hip program to work on your body and, uh, and get yourself stronger. If you need personalized guidance and you would like to work with me, also go to my website and be sure to set up a free 15 minute phone consultation so we can talk about your body specific needs and we can get things uh, started. Uh, if you need more exercise videos, strengthening, stretching, mobility videos, visit my YouTube channel and check out my playlist.